Hey Capricorn, it's your girl, Tara Carfay. I am here to do your love reading for October. We're gonna look to see who's coming towards you, um, your overall energy, outcome, and I'm gonna pull in a oracle card at the very, very end. So let's go in. Now I will say, I got this feeling of you holding on to someone. I haven't started yet, but I got that. Um, yeah, I got that. I got that Ryan Cabrera, Cabrera song I sung before all the way down. I saw you and it saved you from myself. I won't forget the way you loved me. I almost fell right through, but I held on to you. So I am getting an energy of you holding on to someone, which is very Capricorn-like. Um, I'm a Capricorn rising, Virgo sun, Virgo moon. I think I say this almost on every Capricorn video. I don't know if I want y'all to know, like I'm one of you. I'm one of you for the most unbothered sign, which is <laughs> the Capricorns. Um, earth signs in general have a tendency to hold on to their people. Like we are the earth, <laughs> you know, we have selected you, especially if you are fixed earth or something like that. We hold on to what we want. We hold on to what we pick and it does feel like you are holding on to someone. So let's jump in. Your overall energy is seven of wands. What did I say? Standing your ground, being perseverant in something love related nine of pentacles here and the eight of swords i do get an energy that you are single but there's someone in your head and in your heart here that you're not letting go of we got the four of cups energy you could have felt rejected by this person or just rejected by love in general we got the hermit here you could be dealing with a virgo virgo gang <laughs> i do see that and let's see and we got temperance with the two of cups you are holding on to this person even though you felt um rejected in the past i feel like there has been some time of you self-reflecting about as far as what you did wrong what you could have done better and there is some healing here i think you want mutual healing so there may be something you need to communicate to this person to aid in um either closure or healing all right let's see the person coming towards you for october we got the five of wands energy definitely someone um that you could have felt some competition towards or like maybe you were interacting with them and they had multiple options yep seven of cups sometimes i get tired of being right and you know virgos we don't get tired of being right but i'm just saying <laughs> um and the devil here is this you or is this person? This could definitely represent you. There was some back and forth energy between you and this person, Capricorn. I'm getting strong competition. You could have argued about this. Maybe you had competition on your side and you weren't letting this person know or vice versa. But that created conflict. Um, it created some stuckness, lack of movement. Even though there was or is love in this situation. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords. I'm getting you didn't bring the love, Capricorn. This is supposed to be the other person. I don't know why I keep, but that's what I'm getting. You did not bring the love that you were supposed to bring to this situation um, because of heartbreak in the past. What about this person, the Hanged One, which is the Hanged Man, Nine of Cups. Getting strong Virgo energy. All those nines, nine of pentacles, nine of cups. When I see all those nines, I start thinking about Virgo and the hermit is here. Um, and we got page of pentacles here. <clears throat> this person, Capricorn. I feel that they're just... Is a sense of something being unfinished and this person just thinks that it'll never be completed i, I think um, i'm getting that this person doesn't really know what was going on with you i see that that was not communicated and they've kind of just hung this up um i do see this person has either professed love in the past or currently they didn't get the reaction that they wanted so they are kind of just focusing on themselves their own happiness they could have even felt breadcrumb by you with this page of pentacles, Capricorn. What else? We got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they see. They've had some type of um, 
enlightenment here. This Ten of Swords always makes me think of enlightenment. Looking in the face of the owl, getting that wisdom, that primal sense of intuition. This person could have fought for this in the past or you could have fought for this. Um, they're not fighting for it now. I think they've just grown up a little bit. They have more confidence than they had before. And they honestly feel that if this was meant to be, then um, it wouldn't have been so difficult. So we got six of wands here. So this person is victorious in their own right, or they want victory in love. We do have the king of cups, but they have learned to be more emotionally controlled than they were in the past. Yep, five of cups. In the, in the past, I think this really bothered them, the disconnection between you, three of cups, knowing that there were other people involved. Page of wands communicating how they felt emotionally and never getting anywhere with you, Capricorn. Um, Eight of Cups. So this person has walked away in this current energy. How do you feel about this person? We got Three of Pentacles. You want to collaborate now. Ace of Wands. You feel like you got the magic. You got the passion. You got something... Yeah, injustice. I feel like you have something that can turn this around. I'm not sure if you just think that expressing your emotion can change this. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting that. I'm also getting some type of vibe of wanting to seduce this person to get them back. You know that there was an injustice in the past. I'm not sure if you were open about you know, the people that you were dating, that's kind of a theme. I feel like that's always a theme, but it's definitely a theme for October. People hiding the fact that they were dating multiple people. Um, you do want to bring justice to this. We got the page of swords. You watch this person, Capricorn. What are you watching them for? Two of pentacles. You want to know if they're still single or if they've chosen to be with someone or if you can still connect with them. We got the world card here for a cycle that's continued that will continue you want to do this thing again how does this person feel about you nine of wands they are guarded the empress here hmm. they there's a possibility of growth they're still there's a curiosity on the other person's part as far as what this could have been her we could have been the song by her we could have been there's a curiosity because I think this person felt like there could have been a lot of growth between you and it just never came to fruition. So that curiosity always stays with them. We got the queen of swords here. This person is just leans on their intuition and wisdom now, not so much their emotions. Knight of pentacles. This person could have thought in the past you moved too slowly six of cups here while they wanted to be with you they were missing you they were thinking about you you were unsure so you were moving slowly what about emotions queen of cups i do see this person still has emotions for you um and the magician They think that y'all have the ingredients to be great. So they would be open to reconnecting if that's something you are into. Um, they are not going to pursue you in any way, Capricorn. You would have to do all the pursuing. I think this person felt like they put everything on the table in the past and you weren't very receptive of it or you wanted to keep your options open. So if you want this person in your life, Capricorn, you're going to have to fully pursue them. What about next steps? We got the chariot here. Looks like you will. Knight of swords for that swift cutting communication. So you're going to come in fast. Is that what we're going to do? You should. If you move slow in the past, you need to move fast in the future. We don't got time to be playing around you. And we got the two of swords. So you do want peace and balance in the situation. And I think that's what you're going to express. So we got the strength card here. You're going to work really hard to be vulnerable with this person. I think you feel stronger now than you felt in the past. Um, I think this was just 
kind of like the wrong timing, the right people in the wrong timing. That's what I'm kind of getting. What about the outcome here? We got the full card, so I do see a new start. The opportunity for newness, the opportunity to take a risk, the sun card here, the happiest card in the deck. That's what you want to see. This sun is going to illuminate everything. This person in the past needs to know what happened. You need to know what happened. Um, and I kind of feel like the sun is going to create this blank slate of light. And only y'all can mess it up from here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And we got the moon here. And a six of pentacles. And a queen of pentacles. So there's a magnetic attraction that you have towards this person. Deep emotions that you have not shared. Um, you want to give this give to this person in ways that you did not give in the past. You want to nurture this connection. All right. So now let me pull some Halloween oracle cards for you. I always keep saying I'm going to pull one card and end up pulling three. The three just seems right, you know. So let's see what we got. We got death. The eternal cycle begins here. So wanting to bring something back to life. Wanting something to transform. I think Capricorn, you feel like you've been through a transformation. So now you're able to bring that trans transformation energy into this connection. Uh, we do have the skull of darkness, which is blind, spot, blind spots. Kind of getting that as the past energy. In the past, there were just things that either you or the other person didn't see or both of you. Um, because of your past, there were things in this connection you didn't see. You kind of missed the goodness that this person brought and vice versa because of the things in the past. Then I got community and web weaving here. So again, you definitely could be watching this person, but I'm also getting that you want your know, protection. You want to be with this person. You want to protect them. You want to provide. Um, and you're being very strategic about the steps that you make towards this person, Capricorn. I'm going to pull one more. Change with the mummy. That's what you need to bring into this connection with this person. You're going to have to prove to them that you changed. They're not going to believe you off just off the strength of your word because of how things went in the past. You're going to have to prove that you really want to be with them. So Capricorn, this is your reading. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Remember, a like helps with the overall vibe. If you're interested in a personal reading, go to Tarot Card Bay, book some time with the kid, book some time with me. Um, if you just want to say hello, you can always hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up at tarotcardbay at gmail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. Have a good weekend.